If you're clicking on this video, you're just as shocked as I am. Uh, we have some breaking news here in the cycling industry. This was actually sent over to me by a viewer who uh, got a hold of this information. And basically, uh, I don't know if it's been made public yet, but it basically says, Dear Giant Retailer, uh, we want to provide you with clarity and avoid any misinformation. Giant Group has formed partnerships with specialty sports branches like Dick's Sporting Goods Family which is a big box store, pretty much like a sports authority, which is crazy because, you know, as a local bike shop, we always say those bikes are trash. This is the purpose of a local bike shop, but we'll talk about that in just a second. Basically saying the partnership includes Dick's House of Sports, Public Land, and Moose Jaw retail outlets across the United States. By adding these nationally recognized retailers, Giant Group aims to enhance its market presence and introduce its brand to new customers. We want to emphasize that our brand ethos and strategy remains unchanged we are a retail support company and will continue to prioritizing our ibd um partners service products and profitability they have click here for faq obviously i can't click there uh if you have any questions comments please do not hesitate to either jt or angelo we appreciate your partnership continue john thomas thompson the general manager um oh sorry my face was blocking that the entire time but yes so basically Giant is going to be partnering up with Dick's Retailer, which is, again, like I said, pretty much counterintuitive. Whenever we go ahead and sell these bicycles, we're going to saying that those bicycles are trash. But in my mind, I don't think that you're going to be seeing $6,000 propels in there, $12,000 TCRs in there. I think the reason for this move is just to basically get in touch with a new consumer. Uh, as you guys know, a local bike shop obviously goes a long way, but if you have a national brand like Dick's Sporting Goods, um, you have literally a whole section of bicycles and a whole crazy amount of walk-ins for people to see that. And judging by what Dix has for sale in terms of the bicycles on there, they have some mountain bikes that go from anywhere from 350, but like this bicycle right here for $800, a GT adult aggressor, which I was looking at, uh, looks crazy trashy compared to what I'm sure giant can offer. So the one reason why I think they made this move is obviously I got to feel like they're hurting, not hurting, but obviously they want to move product. They want to move money. They want to get new consumers out there. And, you know, there's all these rumors, like I said in my last video, that someone owes the other person a lot of money. And yeah, these rumors are coming through that I'm hearing from everywhere. And I don't know if they're true or not, but apparently Giant, as we know, is a massive bicycle manufacturer, bicycle frame maker. Um, and they supply frames and parts for a ton of other manufacturers out there. So, and we're hearing that some people are coming late on those bicycle bills due. And just like everyone, a lot of people are laying their money. So we want to move these. And like I said before, I have a feeling that's going to be like the 600 to $1,000 range of mountain bikes, the 600 to $1,000 range of hybrids, and just to unload these bicycles. Because in my past videos as well, I always say how well the high-end road mountain bike, or sorry, the high-end road category is doing for us, the high-end mountain bike version is doing for us. But these $600 to $1,000, those customers are non-existent. And when they do come in there, uh, Specialized already has the rock hoppers on discount, or we're trying to figure out how we can go ahead and move these bicycles because there was such a massive demand for those bicycles during that COVID period. And I feel like everyone got the need fulfilled by them. They don't need them anymore. So it's either one, everyone got a bicycle that wanted a bicycle, or two, everyone that bought a bicycle can either dump it on use marketplaces right now that people are picking these bicycles up for steals so it's a really good move i think in giant's mind now obviously if you're a giant dealer you're not happy about this at all now you're competing against a very large chain um i'm sure you're gonna have to support by giant i don't see them going anywhere but you're gonna be losing out on those sales in terms there and who knows who knows where this can go if it starts moving well they might throw a two thousand dollar carbon fiber road bike in there uh, they might throw a $2,000 carbon fiber road uh, mountain bike in there. So it is a scary thing. And this isn't uh, the first time we've seen this. Back in the day, Specialized did this in, I think it was like 1995. 1995, 1996, something like that. Uh, maybe 1997. Specialized did this where they went into a big big box stores. They, they went against their dealers. A lot of dealers were pissed off, obviously. Uh, I think they went to Costco and stuff like that. Basically... They launched a brand in there and a lot of dealers got mad. So Specialized, Mike Senior was the CEO at that time. He basically pulled out of that and they lost a lot of money. And it almost, I think I think there was an article written about it where they said that they got really close to going bankrupt. They had to get financial support. That's where that whole thing where people say, 
Doesn't Merida own some Specialized? I believe they do own some Specialized, and there's been rumors that they own like 49% of it to go ahead and help them out, so Specialized still has control of it. But yeah, that was a failed project for that big box store because of the fact that their product was probably too high of a price for the consumer shopping at Costco. But uh, I mean, nowadays, you go to Dick's Sporting Goods, where the bicycles used to be $200, it's not crazy to see these bicycles being $800, and a giant bicycle will blow this out of the water. And I don't think that it'll be an issue for them to go ahead and go ahead, dog. I don't think it will be an issue for them to go ahead and compete against these bicycles. So I think it's a crazy move. I don't think it'll be. Well, I mean, that could be a lifetime, but I mean, look at this, like, like this thing for $1,300. I'm sure giant has a bicycle that will blow this GT out the water. <laughs> like, come on now. What is that? What is that? You know, like giant will have a, a bicycle that I think will for sure. Be nice on that so yeah uh, that's that's it's crazy news to hear that that they're going with dicks i think it's a very smart move on their end in terms of a company's perspective but if you're a dealer you're definitely kind of pissed off and i think it's more to come i mean as, as an independent bicycle dealer we say this all the time we're looking out right now and just making sure we're smart we had to deal with our own uh issues when um specialized went consumer direct for a couple things and that's how you got to go you got to roll with the punches so again I think I think a lot of giant dealers will be fine. No giant dealers, I'm sure. Giant dealers, I'm sure, aren't just literally surviving off of six hundred to a thousand dollar bicycles. But uh, it's crazy news, man. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think of the situation. In your mind, as a giant brand bicycle owner, does it devalue your bicycle? Do you feel that you now have a big box bicycle? Are you going to get it ripped on in a group ride saying that's a <laughs> Dick's Sporting Goods Bicycle. And also, it makes for the greatest pun of all time. Uh, you can get giant dicks. Uh, I mean, gi you can get giant bicycles of dicks. I mean, it, when I was <laughs> when I was Googling online, I heard this rumors. I was kind of going around looking for more information on this situation. And um, it, I typed in giant dicks by accident and... You, it was not a uh it was not a fun time at all so but yeah there was a note right there uh we'll keep you updated on what's going on in the future but anyways guys let me know what you guys think about this situation thank you again so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video also quick little tidbit before we go scott released their new foil colors online for your website so if you guys are interested in the foil colors their prices are pretty crazy this bicycle is absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. Holy shirts and pants. This is a beautiful bicycle. Liquid silver with the synchro wheels. Oh, God. $15,000, though. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.